The entire structure is constructed above the ground and does not have below ground beds. The bottom of the toilet is a concrete slab. Two disposal chambers with squatting platforms are built on this slab. Eco pans are fitted in these instead of rural pans. The toilet room is built above the two chambers. The eco pan has three parts. The shallow part at the front for urine. The drop hole in the middle for excreta. And the shallow part at the rear for self-cleansing. A pipe under the floor collects and carries the urine from the shallow urine bowl to a pot buried in the ground outside. The user drops the excreta in the middle hole, shifts back and sprinkles one or two handful of ash, lime, sand or sawdust into the hole and covers the hole. The user does anal cleansing. A separate pipe collects and carries the wash water to a small filter bed outside the toilet where salt-absorbing plants are grown. Ash, lime, sand or sawdust helps absorb the water in the excreta and enhances the decomposition process and converts sludge into compost. They also prevent the flies and foul smell. At a time, a family uses only one chamber. This chamber gets filled in about a year and is sealed. Now, the second chamber comes into use. After 12 to 15 months, the slab in the back wall of the first chamber is removed and the manure is taken out. The pit is now ready for reuse. Eco-sand toilets are very effective in coastal regions with high water table as well as in the dry, rocky and water-scarce areas. Remember, the water used for cleansing must not fall in the excreta chamber. A handful of ash, sawdust or lime must be thrown on the excreta and the drop hole covered after every time the toilet 